Hey everyone, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Today I'll be testing two different thermal pads, both rated at 20 watts per meter Kelvin. The first from GPURisers.com and the second from Critical. Now if you guys have watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that the thermal conductivity ratings of uh, thermal interface materials don't always stack up the way we think they will in the real world. And while this is not a test on a GPU, uh, I do use this hot plate um, testing method to figure out which pads I'm going to use on my own cards. So you guys can kind of do with this information what you will, uh, but take it with a grain of salt since it is not on a GPU for the testing. So let's get into it. Alright, so we've got our results now, and they aren't quite what I was expecting. As I've always done with these hot plate tests, I use a 2mm pad or putty and compress it down to 1.9mm to ensure good contact with the copper blocks. I then use MX4 thermal paste between the hot plate and the bottom block, and I start all tests at 24.4 degrees Celsius. Uh, my theory is that the faster that the sensor in the top block reaches 100 degrees Celsius, the better that material is at conducting heat. Uh, so if I'm doing that wrong, I don't know, you guys tell me. But uh, the GPURisers.com pads did it in 5 minutes and 13 seconds, and the critical pads did it in 5 minutes and 23 seconds. So this actually puts both of the pads uh, behind the performance of GLID GP Ultimate pads, which did it in 5 minutes, as well as TG NSP80 Thermal Putty, which did it in 4 minutes and 97 seconds. So... I don't know if I would use these pads on my own cards, but uh, you guys are welcome to try them out if you want to. If you guys like this video, uh, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.